it uh, encompassed what I believe in uh, in terms of fashion. That it should, for me, fashion should has to have a very strong Indian element for me as an Indian designer. But it should be able, it should be able to transcend any kind of geographic or demographic boundary. It needs to be global. It needs to be acceptable. It needs to be aesthetically pleasing without being without being uh, in your eye. And that's what I did. Actually, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't convince Karan at all. He's, uh, he's uh, for me, I think, a uh, great uh, iconic figure of fashion in this country. Uh, for me, in Bollywood, Karan Jor is the epitome of style. I and mean, it's not just only about the way he is and the way he dresses up. It's about the films he makes. It's about the emotions that he has. He understands the human psyche so well. He understands drama. He understands emotion. He understands crying. He understands laughter. He understands Kabi Kushi Kabi Gaon. And at the end of the day, Karan Johar was on my ram not because of the fact that he was Karan Johar, the great director today. He was up on that ramp because I think he deserved to be. And I think any style icon deserves to be on anyone's ramp. And for me, Karan Johar was there as something and somebody and an icon of fashion. Also, you have to tell some of the outfits, photo receptions to your mind. Is there any interconnect between these two lines? As an opportunity, one of them. I think as a designer, any collection that a designer does from one from one season to another or one collection to another has to have some connect with each other. Otherwise, it would not be that designer. I mean, I mean, looking into the history of fashion, if you look at any designer, every collection is connected with each other. And if there's, if if personally, if one connect, collection does not have a connect with another collection, I think designers fail in some way. There has to be that one particular feeling of connectivity and one feeling of continuity which has to which has to go from one to the other. It can be interpreted in so many different ways. But that connectivity has to be I think the, I think there's a big difference between being repetitive and continuity. And if you know what I'm talking about, you'll understand what I'm going to say. It's about carrying on a thing, carrying on what you believe in. Out, and outside of anything else, it's about believing in what you think is your look. So when I say that this is my look, I will carry it through every collection that I do. Not just this one or the last one, but forever. And also, the day I stop doing that, I'll be really scared. Also, so you used to dance in the collection, so why, why is it so? Because I wanted to. I wanted to use those colors, that's why I did. I wanted it to have, uh, it was, like I said, metallic. I don't, I can't see, I don't think there's a white metal. So that's why the colors are dark. All, all metals are, are dark, so I mean, it's just as simple as that.